Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own root beer float at home. So, we're going to get to that in just a few minutes. I'm going to give it a few minutes for some people to come in and start catching up with the stream before I go over to that. So, how's everyone doing tonight on this Thursday evening? I'm doing okay. Hello, Dragon Pepper. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for being first. And uh, hello, Dominique. Hello. Hi, Quincy. So what we're going to do is make our very own root beer float at home. It's a very simple recipe, really. It's only two ingredients. Uh, you can't go wrong. Uh, say, can you please come to New Zealand? I would love to come to New Zealand, Ryan. I would love to. Uh, in fact, I want to go to Australia, which obviously is close to New Zealand. Uh, hi, James. How are you? I'm doing good, Byron. Hi, Quincy. Uh, let's see. You're doing good. Awesome. You're doing great, Hope. Hello, Hope. Um, you are the best. Thank you, Velvet. I appreciate that. Uh, 516 there. Hello. What's up? Uh, can you please come to New Zealand? Like I said, I'd love to come to New Zealand. It is quite a ways away. Hello, love your food. Thank you, Angel. And um, could use different kind of sodas to make different. Yes, you can make just a regular Coke float. You can make root beer float. You can make an orange float, like orange soda float. Uh, Rodrigo Torres. Yes, I remember you. Yes. Uh, better A and W. Yes, it is A and W root beer. It's the only kind I like personally. Um, there is, I think it's IBC. That's pretty good. Uh, Ronald, thank you. I really appreciate that, Ronald. <laughs> Praise Jesus. That's cool. Can you have a shout out? Tech gadgets. There you go. There's your shout out. Tech gadgets. Uh, Dakota Tories. Hi. How are you? Uh, Maria. Hello. You love my videos. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I love making them and sharing them with people. Uh, it's Friday morning. Oh, yeah, because you're in New Zealand. It's already tomorrow there. So it, you already know the future in New Zealand. That's pretty cool. So what's the lottery numbers for tonight? <laughs> no, just kidding, of course. Uh, let's see. How are you today, mister? I'm doing great, Rodrigo. Yes, you can, Dominique. Yes. Uh, how about Mountain Dew floats? Yes, you can do a Mountain Dew float. Absolutely. When is Mountain Dew Jello coming? Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to make that sometime. I haven't made it yet, though. The Mountain Dew Jello. Uh, what about Seven Up? Yes, Seven Up floats. Just about anything you can turn into a float. It's pretty good. Do you like to play video games? I used to like play. I don't play them that often. Um, I do enjoy them when I do play them. Will a float float? Well, part of the float will float. <laughs> uh, hey, how are you? Hey, you're Zach. Hello, Zach. Nice to meet you. You're amazing. My sister joined the uh, vacation. Oh, that's your sister. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's 3.15 Pacific time. Yes, absolutely. Hey, you're the best YouTuber. Thank you so much, Maria. I really appreciate that. You like root beer floats? I do too. I absolutely love root beer floats. It's a lot of fun. Um, let's see. Straight from A&W Restaurant. Yeah, they make really good floats there. And actually, I'm going to use a little tip. I'm going to give you a little tip when I'm making this, uh, the way they make it. And it, it really makes sense. I wish people would stop using cartoon characters as YouTube profiles. I know. I like, uh, you're right. You're right, Byron. It is really copyright infringement. A lot of the things they allow on YouTube, they say they're not allowed to do certain things, but people do it anyway. Um, like they download images from the Internet and they use those. Um, that's technically copyright infringement. If it's not a picture you took, you know, unless they give you express written consent to allow it to use it, you shouldn't be using it. But people do it all the time and YouTube lets people get away with it. Uh, soda with ice cream. Yeah, pretty much it. <laughs> uh, you made your day. I'm glad I made your day, Rodrigo. That's really cool. It makes me happy knowing that you're happy. Uh, will the flow on the float overflow? No, and I have a trick to that. Uh, to make it so it doesn't overflow. Uh, you helped me do good cooking. Awesome. I'm glad I helped. Hi, you're Leslie. Hi, Leslie. Oh, so it says Maria, but your name is Leslie. Awesome. Nice to meet you, Leslie. It's 520 Central Time where Byron is. Awesome. I like them. Awesome. 
Do you live in Cal? I do not live in California. I have been to California a few times, but I do not live in California. I live on the East Coast, uh, near between Washington D.C. and Baltimore. I live in Maryland, technically. Uh, you were saying get the root beer from the restaurant, not the float itself. Well, yeah, that's good too. And then make the homemade one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep. You should make the chocolate covered apple. That's a good suggestion. Yep. So what do you guys say we get right to this and start making this root beer float? You made your profile cartoon character. Yeah, well, that's fine, too. A lot of people make their own characters, and that's great. Um, you know, you made it. That's awesome. It's not copyright if you make it. So, yep. Let's see. Favorite candy. Let's get started. Yes, we are going to get started. Can you get to it? Yes, we are going to get to it. Hello from Los Angeles, uh, Brian. I'm going to grab a frosted mug. That's number one. You have to have a frosted mug, right? So I'm going to grab that out of the freezer because I've had it in there trying to get it really cold. So a frosted mug. That is number one. You want to start with a nice frosted mug. Yes, send me a float. So a frosted mug is perfect. 10 21 a.m in new zealand right now that's pretty cool do you like fan art i love fan art i love anything i love hearing from fans i love commenting with fans you know i love it so absolutely um you can tweet me a photo i you know i love seeing pictures and art i always find it amazing because i can't draw or paint myself and um, I just find the talent that other people have just totally amazing that they could they do things the way they do it. Um, I love talented people. Uh, you look like an Iron Chef. <laughs> That's pretty. Maybe it's just the coat, right? Uh, James, I have a suggestion for a float. Pepsi float. Yeah, Pepsi float works just as well, Byron. You're right. Frosted mug. Can't forget it. Yes, frosted mug. Number one on the list. So I have some ice cream right here. I've had this out only about five minutes or so. I just wanted it not to be too hard. And uh, that way I can scoop into it. Now you don't want to put the ice cream in first. Believe it or not, you think it would be easier to put it in first. And actually if you put the ice cream into the mug first and then you pour the root beer on there, that's when you get that real bubbly, almost overflowing. So you gotta be careful with that. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Can you make pepperoni rolls? That's a good suggestion. Hate they stop the end of the restaurant. Uh, you love root beer floats. Awesome. I do too. So first thing you need to do is pour your root beer into your frosted mug. So I have A&W root beer. You can use any kind you want. This is the kind I prefer. And I'm just going to pour that in. And I'm only going to fill about half of this mug with the root beer. Slightly more. Because I like a lot of ice cream in mine. Um, but you can, if you want less ice cream, you can put more soda or vice versa. It's totally up to you. You can make it any way you'd like. That's the best part about homemade stuff. Uh, let's see, best YouTube channel when mom watches your video. Oh, thank you, uh, Leonardo, I, I think that is. Uh, my eyes aren't as good as they used to be. Uh, so thank you so much, Leonardo. I really appreciate that. Uh, you tried the WWE ice cream bars, but then stopped making them last time. Yeah, I remember you mentioned I should make those, and I'm going to try to figure out a way to do that. Uh, I wish I had ice cream. All I have is the root beer. So... Yeah, you can make homemade ice cream if you have like sweetened condensed milk and heavy cream. It's not that difficult to make. It just takes you a few hours for it to harden up. So now I just scooped out one scoop of vanilla ice cream and I'm just gonna plop it in here. Now, of course you wanna be careful a little bit. So there's one scoop in, it will fizz a bit, but not as bad. Now, if you put the ice cream in first and then you pour the soda on top, it'll fizz a lot and you, you get all that big, uh, you know foamy foamy stuff so I'm gonna do another scoop here and plop that in here mmm yes so it does fizz up as you see now two scoops look pretty good I don't think I need another scoop um, I am gonna put my ice cream away Oh, you just subbed. Thank you so much, uh, Suzuki. I think uh, 
Sasuke, I, I guess. I hope I'm saying your name right. I'm sorry if I'm not. Um, who's that? Says Eric Needle says Mountain Dew Twinkies. Mountain Dew Twinkies might be coming up. <laughs> Just a hint. Um, let's see. You were thinking Pepsi Twinkies. That would be interesting, Byron. Hey, Byron Midwest in the house. Uh, that looks delicious. It does. So I'm going to try it out. Let's give you a good look at that. Mm. So I'm going to stick my straw in there and try to get it mixed up pretty good. And let me try it out, see how we did. Mm. Yes. A and W root beer, root beer float. This is awesome. Hi from Arizona. Hello. We love those here. The A and W root beer. I love it here too as well. Yummy. Yep. That looks so good. It does look good on a nice hot day. Nothing better than a root beer float. In fact, even on a cold day, it's good, right? Mm. Wish I can just share it with you guys. Uh, hi, good, is that Go Dogs Fool? Nice name. <laughs> Hello. You're hungry now? <laughs> Michael, you're hungry? That's awesome. Uh, does this root beer make you, let's see, hi from Arizona. Hit about, sun, oh, a hint about Sunday's recipe. Uh, Sunday's recipe is actually a collaboration video I did with someone I've done a collaboration with before. I'm really excited about that video. It was a lot of fun shooting that video. It'll be out Sunday, and you're going to absolutely love that video. Can you make a Reese's flavored drink or food? I've made a lot of Reese's flavored drinks and food. Um, well, especially the food. I've made a Reese's milkshake. I've made a Reese's pie. Uh, giant Reese's peanut butter cup. I made a lot of Reese's stuff actually, but I will, you know, of course, I just recently made something Reese's as well. I don't know if I should show you guys. Should I show you something I made of Reese's? I haven't edited the video yet or not, but let's see. Oreo toaster strudels. That's a pretty cool suggestion there, Quincy. Uh, Oreo toaster strudels. Hmm. Um, let's see, you made an Oreo milkshake. Yeah, that's, Oreo milkshake is really good. There's always a good time for that. Uh, have you watched Food Network Unwrapped? I, I think I've seen an episode of that before, but, um, not recently. Uh, tastes so good. Mm, yes, the Oreo milkshake definitely tastes good. You should try, uh, Cocoa Pebbles Milkshake Burger King. Hmm. Yeah, because I made the uh, Fruit Loops milkshake, and that was like a, a Burger King kind of knockoff there. And uh, Fruity Pebbles sounds pretty good. Uh, you want some of the root beer milk or root beer float? I know I have milkshakes on my mind right there for a minute. Uh, let's see. Make another video tomorrow. There might be a special video coming out Saturday morning. I've been trying to do these special videos because I have a lot of videos that I have edited. And I'm trying to share them out. And if I have an extra video a week, I'll share it on Saturday morning just as a bonus video. So, of course, you'll always get the Sunday video at 2 o'clock on East Coast time. But any uh, special videos will come out, like, say, Saturday morning just as a special video. So we'll see if that video goes out. Um, and then, of course, you'll have the regular video on Sunday. Uh, like South Park. Yeah, I like South Park. Make another video tomorrow. <laughs> now, tomorrow I won't have a video go out, but Saturday there might be a video that goes out. And of course, Sunday, your regular video. Yep. So this is really good. This, of course, A&W Root Beer, best milkshakes. Mm. So, do you guys want to see what I made? Let's say I'll show you what I made something Reese's flavor and Let's see Who are who's my favorite YouTube or favorite TV cooks? You're Sandra Lee and Martha Stewart. That's pretty good ones. Um What about uh, 
She doesn't do a lot of desserts, but um, I cannot think of her name. I can see her face. I can't think of her name. But <laughs> it'll come to me. Rachel Ray, how about that? Saturday, you're going to the beach. And um, let's see. I don't know what. Let's see. Can you make a hamburger pizza? That's a pretty good suggestion. Hamburger pizza. Can't go wrong. Two things I love. Hamburger and pizza. Uh, Chelsea, hi. How are you? Floats are thick. Yes, the float is thick. Of course, you can make it as thick or as thin as you like, depending on how much ice cream you put in there, you know, compared to soda. But, yeah. Do you have fun making these things? I do. I have a lot of fun making these things. I enjoy making different videos and I enjoy experimenting with the different types of food and try to come up with different recipes that are unique and fun and I like doing it. <laughs> the float is raw. <laughs> mm. So I'm going to share with you guys something I made. I haven't done this. Um, I haven't edited this video yet or anything. I don't know when it'll go up. But I'll share you. I'll share with you a piece of something I made earlier this week. Here you go. I'll go get it out of the refrigerator. This is a Reese's cheesecake. Now it doesn't have all the decorations on it because it's just one piece. That's all that's left, thanks to my family members. So this is it. It is a Reese's Cheesecake. And that was a suggestion by somebody, and I don't remember who, but I'll have to look it up. So let me put this back in the refrigerator. And uh, make a pizza cake. That's a good suggestion. Um, can you please make a controller cake, like a game controller cake? That's a good one. Uh, you like your floats extra thick. That's cool. Nintendo Entertainment System cake. Nice. <laughs> you need some of this root beer or the cheesecake or both. Cheesecake, Reese's cheesecake with a root beer float. That's a good way. Uh, you say Sandra Lee is one of the better bakers because she's cute, adorable, sweet, and special. Cool. You love my kitchen. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, you can't wait for the uh, Reese's video to come out? Yeah. I can't wait for Sunday's video because it is a collaboration video and we just had a lot of fun making that video. So it was fun. David. Hey, David. How are you doing? Thank you. Hi. Hi, Kevin. It was you. <laughs> uh, can you make pizza pretzels? That's a good suggestion. A cake inside of a cake of full of pie? <laughs> Interesting. Y'all are getting really creative. Uh, you should make a root beer cheesecake. Huh, that would be interesting. Root beer cheesecake. <laughs> I know, so I made root beer jelly. I made root beer float now. And, um... Matt, can you get that? <clears throat> so, yep. Yep, so. I uh, love the idea from Root Beer Milkshake. Yeah, Root Beer Milkshake would be pretty good. Yep. Yep. Can you show us how to make vanilla milkshake? Yeah, pretty simple actually. Uh, might have to do it sometime. Make a coconut cake. You know, I absolutely love coconut cakes. They're a lot of very sweet though. I mean, I you know, there's um there's a store that sells them around here, and they're so sweet. Let's see. Uh, can you say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? I I can almost say it. Can't say it fast. YouTube logo cheesecake. A YouTube logo cheese. That would be interesting. Can you Nutella ice cream? Yes, I love Nutella. I don't eat it enough, but I love it. Stephen, hello. How are you? 
Your little pony friendship is magic candy. Okay? Or ice cream rolls. Ah, now see, I did make that video. Um, so that will go out. I don't know when again. Like I said, I haven't edited that video, but I did shoot that video for ice cream rolls. So thanks for that suggestion. Uh, you're late. That's okay, Steven. You're here. Cronuts. I've done Cronuts before a very long time ago. I was, you know, very early on on YouTube and I did that. Um, but, you know, I'll have to do that again some other time. Uh, have you made that before? The root beer cheesecake? Huh. You've also had root beer chai, chai tea. Ah, chai tea. I can't talk. <laughs> uh, sub to me. I'll sub the heck. I'll see. Maple lollipop made from real maple. Hmm. That would be really maple-y. Mountain Dew Cheesecake. Yeah, now that would definitely get all the gamers on board, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, Nico. Uh, what is my favorite recipe of all the videos I've made? Hmm. The favorite recipe, well, as far as taste wise, I loved, I loved like the peanut butter pie I made years ago. That was really good. I absolutely, I love peanut butter and chocolate and stuff like that. Uh, but as far as like food goes, I like like the taco ring. That was pretty good. But I, I kind of like anything with chocolate in it, chocolate or peanut butter or something like that. What is a root beer float? It's just basically a uh, root beer soda and vanilla ice cream on a frosted mug and it just tastes amazing. What's my favorite fish? Probably tilapia, I would say. Make chocolate cookies. Yeah, that's, I love chocolate cookies. Make a giant hot Cheetos and see how it tastes. I don't like hot things, believe it or not, but uh, yeah, Cheetos I like. You should do something from Disney Pixar's Up. The movie up. I have seen that. Make me a big YouTuber. Sub to me. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm not even a big YouTuber. Uh, see, make a zombie cake. Oh, that's a good one, especially like around like Walking Dead type stuff. Have you ever made cotton candy milkshake? No, I haven't made a cotton candy milkshake. So, Cat Brick Films, you want me to shout you out? There you go, Cat Brick Films. <laughs> Uh, root beer float is root beer on the bottom and ice cream on top. Yes, absolutely. Uh, let's see, Mountain Dew ice cream. Yeah, Mountain Dew. I've done Mountain Dew ice cream a couple times. Uh, let's see, uh, cream cheese cake. Pretty much the cheesecake. Uh, you would love Coca Cola and Pepsi cheesecake. No bake, of course. <laughs> yeah, I would say no bake on that. Um, cool. Tiffany, why do people use wine in their food? What does it do? Um, it adds flavor for one. Some people like wine and when they're making food and a lot of times when they're like cooking on like a stove top and stuff, sometimes they use it in place of oil. Yeah, I usually don't, but some people do. Uh, see, try Takis. I've seen Takis before. I never had them. So, yeah. So, where's everyone from today? Uh, I know where some of you guys are from. You already mentioned uh, somebody was from uh, Nether, or sorry, New Zealand. So it's already tomorrow there. It's already Friday morning. A soda cake? Yeah, I like soda cake. That's a good idea. Uh, can you do it, Coca-Cola? <laughs> uh, Monster ice cream? Yeah, so I made uh, I made Mountain Dew ice cream, which is similar to Monster ice cream. Let's see, make a giant pancake and waffle. I have made some giant pancakes before, and actually I used a rice cooker to make them, which was really fun because they're real thick. Um, and I think it was only a couple months ago I made those, so it wasn't that long ago. You gotta go be back, okay? You gotta go, but you'll be back. Cool. Um, TMRC Productions, you're from Texas, somebody, uh, Ruben, you're from Puerto Rico, oh, Hope is from Maryland, yes, I remember Hope, Hope is from Maryland, yep, me too, Tiffany, Oklahoma, cool, get the green Takis, they're not spicy at all, oh, really, 
Hmm. I'll have to try that. Uh, so, Stephen, you're from Serbia. Hello, Stephen from Serbia. Show how to, let's see, Texas, Coca-Cola, Los Angeles. Oh, Los Angeles. I was there uh, about a month and a half ago. You've made soda cake. Cool. I just boil the soda until two liter bottle, one cup. Yeah, because, yeah, then it becomes like a syrup. Absolutely. Toxic quartz. <laughs> uh, talk to me later. Okay, bye, Karate Joe. Uh, you live in Wisconsin. Really small town, huh? Cool, Byron. Uh, I am addicted to soda. Well, no addiction's good, um, but, yeah. Not a horrible addiction if you have to have one. Addicted to soda. Uh, I consume around six cans a day. Hopefully, I hope you consume the liquid, not the actual cans, right? <laughs> so, uh, can you do a Coca-Cola? Absolutely, you can make a root beer float with Coca-Cola. Just be a Coca-Cola float. Coke float. Uh, Long Beach. So, I guess that's Long Beach, California, Dragon Pepper. Uh, someone's from Mexico, Carrie. Uh, someone's from Earth. Tox, Toxit is from Earth. Cool, I am too. Uh, King of Nintendo is from New Jersey. Hmm, didn't know the king lived in New Jersey. Monster Jello. Somebody likes Monster. <laughs> um, what made you want to be a chef? Would you ever build a restaurant of your own? It's just a hobby for YouTube, really. Um, I don't think I would ever build a restaurant. There's a lot of work goes into having a restaurant. And this way I can make stuff. And if it doesn't turn out, well, you'll never see the video if it doesn't turn out. But uh, if it doesn't turn out, I'll make a different recipe. Uh, if you have a restaurant, you kind of put things on the menu. You kind of have to make them. You know, people expect certain things, right? Uh, can you make beer milkshakes? That would be very interesting i don't know if i'd ever want a beer milkshake but i guess you could can you please say if you're a real chef um well it depends on what you call a real chef i cook things <laughs> I, you know there's no real i don't know there's not like an international whatever of chefs not like you take a test and become a chef chef <laughs> but yeah uh, you should do pancake art challenge. Ha! Ah, so you'll be surprised this Sunday that might happen. Just a hint. Let's see. Hi, Tiffany. How are you doing, sweetie? Okay, that's Byron talking to them. Can you make an Oreo cheesecake? Oreo cheesecake. I can do that. I haven't done it yet, but maybe I will. You eat the metal, too. <laughs> it makes you stronger. <laughs> uh, where do I work? I work here where I live. <laughs> uh, see, Monster Jello. You mean, like, from Zelda. Uh, later. Bye, Alex. <laughs> I do not work at a restaurant, no. Uh, let's see. You're back. Hello, Alex. You're back. That was quick. Uh, let's see, you're fine. Let's see. In Japan, Legend of Zelda is known as Hilda. Huh. Uh, Oreo cheesecake, yes. Do you have any pets? I do not have any pets. My father has a pug. And I know sometimes if you happen to follow me on Snapchat, you may see pictures of him on Snapchat. So if you do, you see that. That's not actually my dog. That's my father's dog. WW ice cream bars, WWE ice cream bars, make jello cake, please. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. So, good luck with stream. Thank you. I'm going to be ending the stream in just a minute. So, I want to thank everyone for stopping in and saying hello and watching me make this A&W root beer float, which is almost gone now. What is cheesecake made out of? Uh, the main ingredient in cheesecake is actually cream cheese. 
and that's whether you're making baked cheesecake or whether you're making the no bake either way what country do I live in I live in the United States what other cooking YouTubes do you watch I watch quite a few of them. Uh, Todd's Kitchen, yes. Uh, Todd's Kitchen, I watch his stuff as well. He's really good. Um, let's see. Do you always eat what you make? For the example, the Giant Coke. I do try it on camera, and uh, I may not eat the whole thing, obviously, uh, but some of the things I eat, you know, almost all of it. Others I give to family and friends. Yeah. Why don't... Let's see. Where are we? So... Thank you for streaming. You're welcome. Thank you for stopping in and saying hello and chatting. I enjoy that. Oh, Connor. Hi. How are you doing? Do I like mug root beer? I do enjoy mug root beer, but I prefer A&W root beer over mug root beer. Just a preference. But it would work just the same with mug root beer. But like I said, we're just finishing up this live stream. I do appreciate everyone stopping in, saying hello, asking questions, talking, telling me where they're from. As always, I'll try to do this every Thursday, usually around 6 p.m. my time. And I know you're all different places. That's around 3 p.m. West Coast time and around 11 p.m. in England. <laughs> uh, the rest of the places you'll have to figure out. Off we design, Byron. Uh, so that's it. Uh, can you make candy type fun foods? Yeah, I make a lot of candy type fun foods. Just check out the videos on my channel. Go to the channel and there's quite a bit of candy fun foods come back soon i will next thursday we'll do this again and i uh, hope everyone has a wonderful weekend don't forget to check out sunday's video it's a collaboration video and you're going to absolutely love it and i will see you guys then let me go over and close out this live stream and as always you can mention you can put comments down below after the video closes and i will respond to the, as many as i can and I will see you guys later. See you next week or see you Sunday.